Hello everyone, which part of your marketing is giving you the best return on investment? That's a very common question for many businesses in the world today. Inside of Google Analytics, it actually shows you the order in which your marketing is contributing to your overall revenue. And so I'm gonna show you in this short video exactly how this works and which part of your marketing actually assists the final click to get you the sale, uh, the visit into your offline premises, whether you're a vet, a retail pharmacy, a private hospital, or any other type of business, or whether it actually gets you more phone calls and leads. And so let's take a look exactly how this works. So what you're looking at here is the multi-channel funnels inside of Google Analytics. And all you need to care about, uh, as far as a business is concerned, is how does this affect your marketing? It shows you the assisted conversions. What has led up to the people visiting you in your offline premises? to get you the phone calls and email inquiries as well as the sales from e-commerce. Um, this is a complete summary showing you which part of your marketing uh, is working. So in this particular case, organic search led to 68.94% of all the conversions. Organic search is basically everything that's not the adverts in Google when you search on the left-hand side. Direct traffic is when people actually know your brand, uh, they come to your website having already seen your brand somewhere. Uh, you do need to track that for banners and email marketing uh, because that's all uh, included in direct unless you do. And then you've got referrals, referrals from other external websites uh, where they've driven qualified traffic hopefully to, to you. And then email marketing, of course, uh, which is self-explanatory and social network, which is uh, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, YouTube, etc., etc. So in the next part of this video, I will show you how assisted conversions work. When you're looking at your online and offline marketing, you should be looking at it from a marketing funnel point of view. So what does that actually mean? It means something starts the conversation with a potential customer, for example, social media. And then you have the middle of the marketing funnel, uh, which something, i.e., organic search in this example contributed towards the final sale, the final phone call or email inquiry or the person coming into your offline premises. So this is really important to know. Uh, in this example, you can see they've got over 7,700 just by assisted uh, conversions from these channels that you can see here. It actually breaks it down into uh, what was the final click in terms of the value for organic traffic, as well as what was the assisted conversion. So different parts of your marketing play a major part in obviously getting you the results that you're looking for. Now to take this one step further, there are a variety of different dimensions you can add. And if I just add city for now, uh, if you are a local business, uh, this will be useful if you actually are an international business as well. Um, however, you can see the city. And so you can start to drill down and really focus where your marketing budget is uh, getting the best results. I hope that's interesting. In the next video about marketing funnels, I'm gonna show you exactly how many days it takes before people actually come to your website and a conversion is created. Also, how many interactions does your website need before you get the sale? Whether that means e-commerce, whether that means more people into your offline premises, or more phone calls and email inquiries. So if you've got any questions about Google Analytics, website conversions, or creation of desktop and mobile websites, please contact us at andrewredwards.com forward slash contact. Thanks for watching, and we'll speak to you soon.